Welcome to Hood War Stories. In this episode, I'll be discussing the war between the Englewood families and the Devil Ain't Bloods. The Englewood families are a black American gang located in Englewood, California. They originated in the 1970s and are often viewed as the premier blood gang in both Englewood and Los Angeles County. They are known to hang out at the intersection of Crenshaw and Manchester, as well as the Englewood Swami and Darby Park. They are allies with NHP, APG, and a Trays. They beef hard with the rolling 60s, 90s, 100s, and the rest of the neighborhood crib card. The Devil Lanes, also known as the Figueroa Rider Gang, are a black American gang located on the west side of South Central Los Angeles. They are named after the residential street Denver Avenue, which is between Hoover and Figueroa. Their neighborhood stretches from 105th Street to 120th Street between Vermont and Grand Avenue. They are clicked up with Crenshaw Mafia. They are also friendly toward the Harvard Park Brims, Bloodstone Villains, and the Weirdo Gangsta Bloods. Historically, their main beef is with the Hoovers. Prior to their flare-up, the Devil Lanes and families were on friendly terms. But on February 9th, 2013, the two hoods had a party at the Normandy Casino. A physical altercation then broke out between the two gangs. About four hours later, Chavani Odom, who's from the Devil Lanes, was on the 500 block of West 109th Street. Gunshots erupted and Trevani was hit multiple times. He was pronounced dead at the scene. Trevani was a very respected man in the Devon Lanes area near the 109th and Fig section. The Devon Lanes held the families responsible for the shooting. Three days later, on February 12, 2013, Clarence Gant, who was an OG from Families, was gunned down on the 400 block of 126th Street. His death further activated the war. A day later, on February 13, 2013, Darnell Charles was riding his bike to work near Menlo Avenue and Imperial Highway, which is in Devon Lane Blood territory. A black male then ran into the street and shot him in the back three times with a handgun. The shooter skipped back to his car and took off celebrating. Darnell died from his injuries. He had no gang affiliation. An eyewitness said the shooter appeared to be a tall, slim, light-skinned black male. Two days later, on February 15th, 2013, at around 9.45 p.m., Tyrone Robinson and Leon Hall were chilling outside a fast food restaurant near the intersection of Vermont and Imperial, which is in Devon Lane Blood territory. Tyrone was wearing all red that day. At 9.49 p.m., a man walked up and asked Leon where he was from. Leon said, I'm from Texas. The man then asked Tyrone where he was from. But before he could reply, the man pulled out a gun and opened fire. Tyrone dropped. While he was on the ground, the man stood over him and let off at least another shot. A car then pulled up and the shooter jumped in. Tyrone died from multiple gunshot wounds. Multiple bullet fragments were recovered from his body. Donnie's baby mother ended up identifying him from a photo lineup. They'd known each other for over 10 years, but broke up in 2008. Donnie Lee Walton, from the Englewood families, was convicted on two counts of murder. He was sentenced to six terms of life without the possibility of parole. Within a week, there was a total of nine shootings between the two gangs, including five fatalities. On April 23rd, 2021, Big Clayron's son, Clarence Gant Jr., was gunned down on the 1200 block of West of Barney Street in Compton. He was also from the Eagle families. His murder remains unsolved. I'd like to thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe.